Hey guys, welcome back. So I wanted to uh, just make a quick video to introduce you guys to Sam. <laughs> we got Sam um, about a week ago from the shelter. He is a very good dog, aren't you? Yes. Um, he made himself at home here very quickly. Uh, whoever had him before trained him because he understands wait, stop, sit, all that stuff. Like he's completely trained. Um, potty trained, all that. So when we took him to the vet, the vet is guessing that he's obviously lab. Um, and she thinks that he's mixed with some border collie. And she's guessing he's about two years old. Um, what happened was, I guess the sheriff's office found him wandering. And they took him to the shelter. So they didn't know anything about him. They don't know where he came from, nothing. So um, when we adopted him, we just took him without knowing any history on him. So we took him to the vet, gave him a once over, and found out that not only did he have an ear infection, but he also has heartworm, which really stinks. Um, but, and the reason that I say that stinks is obviously it's horrible for him, but he likes to jump and run and it's hard to keep him still. The vet told us that we would have to keep him like on bed rest, basically, because of this heartworm. Um, so I took him today to get checked. We, um, he took some medication last week to kill the baby worms, I guess. And so I had to take him today to get his blood checked to see if the babies were gone. They are not. So he has to have, he had to have another round of medication. Now I got to take him back next week to have him rechecked. And then once that comes back saying that he's, the babies are dead, they're going to work on, I guess, getting rid of the adult worms. Um, hey guy. But anyway, he's just, he's very well-mannered, very well-mannered. When we, when we brought him in the house, he came in and it was like he lived here. He, right? Yes, he was a good boy. Um, it was like, I don't know, he, he'd always been here. It was, it was really weird. And uh, we gave him a bath. He, he's actually had three baths. <laughs> I gave him a bath the day we got him, and then I gave him another bath the very next day, and he was so dirty. I have no idea how long he was outside, um, but the second bath, I mean, there, he, there was still so much dirt coming off of him. Um, but we got him home, gave him a bath. He never once tried to bite us. He never barked at us. I mean, I, I just, it's hard for me to understand why somebody would just dump him and leave him. The only thing I can think of is they found out that he had heartworm and they couldn't afford it because it's not cheap to get rid of heartworm. But we're committed to helping this little guy. But he's, he's just, he really is a doll. I am having a little bit of trouble still. Um, I'll never be over Charlie. Never ever. Charlie will always be in my heart always he like I said before Charlie was the best dog I've ever had like hands down I personally wasn't ready to get a dog my husband wanted to get to get a dog and as a matter of fact last week we were out and he he said okay what happened was we went to PetSmart I haven't been to PetSmart since Charlie passed and that was the PetSmart we used to take Charlie to be groomed and I was okay when we walked in and as soon as we got ready to walk out, you have to walk past where they, the, the grooming area. And I, I got upset, you know, because the last time we were in there, we were picking Charlie up. So we get out to the car and my husband said, why don't we, why don't we just go check out the shelter in Rinkin? And I was like, all right, whatever. I mean, I wasn't like expecting to come home with a dog, that's for sure. But they only had, I think it was like maybe nine or ten dogs, that was it. And, um, gee, I don't know what the name they had for him. They didn't even realize he was a boy. I, Power Puff. I was like, all right, you know, whatever. But they had Power Puff on the name of his, his, um, his cage. So anyway, I, like I was saying, I wasn't ready to get a dog. And when we went and my husband actually picked him out, um, I was looking at another dog that had the same colorings that Charlie did. It wasn't a German Shepherd. I think it was, 
I think it was, honestly, I don't even know what it was. It was a really pretty dog, but I wasn't looking at this guy. So the girl says, hey, do you want us, do you want me to take one of the, the dogs out into the yard and you can kind of play around with them? And my husband was like, yeah, let's, let's pick, let's, let's see how he does. So we get him outside, and at first he was just running from like corner to corner of the yard sniffing. He didn't really seem to be too interested in us. And after about five minutes or so, my husband asked the girl if she could go in and just leave us alone with him. And as soon as she went in, um, he seemed to kind of calm down a little bit. And then he started playing. And he was like chasing me around, not barking though, and never tried to bite me. He seemed very friendly and personable. So my husband was like, well, what do you think? And I, I was like, I don't, I don't know. I'm not, I, I don't know that I'm ready for a dog. But at that point, it's like, it's too late. You're already there. He's out of the cage. He's obviously a good dog. You know what I mean? Like, I would have felt, I would have felt like the cruelest person in the world if I would have just been like, mm, no thanks. You know what I mean? So I just said, okay. So we go in to fill out paperwork and I'd left my cell phone outside. So I went back out to grab my phone and he was still outside. He goes to follow me into the building and I turned around and I said, no, wait. And he stopped. Then I looked at him and I said, sit. And he sat down. I was like, good boy. I came in and I told the lady, I was like, did you guys realize he was trained? I said, he's responding to commands. And the girl was like, oh no. And I'm thinking, well, of course you didn't know. You didn't even know he was a boy. So anyway, um, I'm feeling, I'm feeling very conflicted, you know, like I, I really want to like, I, don't get me wrong, I like him a lot and I love having him here, um, but I'm not, I don't know, it's hard to explain. I love animals regardless, you know, and I would never, I would never like mistreat him or not give him attention or love or anything like that because I do. But I just, um, I don't know, I miss, I miss Charlie, but he's, he's a good dog. He really is. He slobbers a lot. I need to get a duvet cover for my comforter because he's leaving like white spit stains everywhere. Okay, and then one more thing. So I thought I was getting to the point where I was, you know, I could think about Charlie and talk about Charlie without getting upset. And so this past Friday I was leaving for work. I went out to the mailbox because I'd realized I hadn't checked the mailbox yet. Went out to the mail and I saw that there was an envelope in there from the vet and it looked like a card envelope. So I opened it up and it was a it was a sympathy card. And what did I do with it? I think I put the card in my dresser. So anyway, it was a sympathy card from all the girls, yeah, at the vet office. And it says, losing a true friend is never easy. May you find comfort in all the special moments you shared with your pet. Please accept our sincere and sincerest condolences. And everybody signed it, which I was just... But what really got me and what set me back... Probably, it set me back probably two weeks of progress was this and I still have a hard time even looking at it they um they took a they put some paint on Charlie's paw and put it on this card for us before he was cremated and so when I opened it and I saw the card <laughs> see like clearly I, I have not moved you know I'm still I'm still at that in that phase, you know. But when I opened the card and I saw that, I couldn't even talk. And I went into the house and I showed my husband. And 
he he got kind of upset but getting this set me back progress that's for sure so holy cow i'm gonna have to take a break Ooh, okay <laughs> oh my gosh i like i said i i have a really hard time looking at that card I have a very hard time looking at it, and it makes me feel bad because I miss Charlie so much, you know, but I want to be able to, like, bond and connect with Sam. Um, he makes it so easy to love him, you know, because he just really is a very, very good dog. We got, we got super lucky with Sam. Like, I, I couldn't have asked for a better dog, honestly, um, but I just still feel like I'm... I'm not 100%, I don't want to say over Charlie, but I haven't gotten to that point where, like, I'm okay, you know, I don't, I don't know. I know there's different stages of grieving, and I feel like I'm still sort of in that first stage. You know, if I don't think about it, I'm fine, but as soon as I have to think about it or talk about him or look at a picture of him, I, I get upset. And also, Daisy, she's, she seems better. Um, she seems like, you know, she's adjusting. She did have a little bit of a hard time with Sam at first, you know, because it's a new dog in the house. But Sam and Daisy are getting along. It was hard at first because uh, Daisy was in heat, and so it was kind of awkward. But uh, she's over that now, and they're getting along a lot better. Uh, yesterday, the cat was laying on my bed right by Sam, which that's the first time since Sam has been here that the cat has gotten even remotely close to him. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm assuming that soon they'll all be just like, you know, one little happy family. So, but I just, I wanted to introduce you guys to the newest member of the house. Oh, got an itch. He's a very clean dog. He's <laughs> three baths in. He's a good boy. Sit down. Yeah, I know she's stretching. Sit down. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, he's a good puppy. He's a good boy. Can you say hello? Wouldn't it be awesome if he just turned to the camera and was like, hello? <laughs> Hi. Oh, he's very, very lovey. Very. <laughs> Daisy was just scooting her belly along the, the carpet. Come on. He likes the bed. He likes being on the bed. Um, he's finally to the point at night now where I can close my bedroom door and he won't come in and try to jump up on the bed while we're sleeping. <laughs> the first night I think he was just kind of scared so he slept in our room and he slept on the floor. He was fine. The second night he kept trying to jump up on the bed so I had to kick him out of the room which worried me because he peed on that chair in the living room. He peed on that twice. I think the first time he did it was just to kind of mark his territory. The second time I think he did it because he was mad because we left him. That was the first time we'd left him alone in the house with just the cat and Daisy. So anyway, but that's it. I'm gonna go. I just wanted to introduce Sam to everybody. Yes. He's a good boy. He really is very well mannered. Such a good puppy. So I also wanted to tell you guys too that um, since I made that video, I haven't been able to go back and, and look at it. The video where I, I told you guys about Charlie passing. Um, I saw some of the comments when the video first posted. I think I responded to a couple of them, but I haven't been able to I haven't been able to go back and and really I'm just having a hard time with it. And if I haven't responded to you, I apologize. I, but I just want everybody to know that I appreciate you and that I appreciate the fact that you care enough to leave me a comment and condolences and all that. Like, that means a lot to me. I will eventually get around, get around to reading the rest of the comments. But I literally, like, when I go through my comments um, when I'm responding to people, anytime I see that black get ready with me, I just skip right over it. Um, because I'm still having a hard time, but I just want everybody to know that I appreciate, I just, I just appreciate everything. All right, so I am going to go. I have to make dinner. Uh, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me today. Have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Bye.